Coming up, Hurricane Michael gaining strength as the Florida Panhandle prepares for the most powerful storm to hit there in decades. Plus, there's storm surge here on the Sun Coast. We're live on Anna Maria Island and in Venice with the latest beach and road conditions. And how Michael could impact flights here on the Sun Coast and in Tampa. Your Sun Coast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at noon. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Hurricane Michael ramping up before making landfall later this afternoon. The powerful storm now a Category 4 hurricane and likely the strongest to ever hit the Florida Panhandle. First alert meteorologist John Scalzi joins us now with an update on the storm. John yes, Scott, this is an impressive storm with 145 mile an hour winds with the latest Data from the uh, Hurricane Hunter aircraft, the vortex message kind of indicates it might even be a little bit stronger than that. We'll see what the next advisory says, but uh, for the current time, the pressures seem to be dropping. We're looking at a very well-defined eye wall, and it's spinning on a path that's accelerating just a little bit, and probably will make landfall within the next couple of hours, very close to Mexico Beach, which is located right there. If there's any upside to this, it's that a lot of the impact will be taken by Apalachicola National Park and St. Mark's Park, which is right here as well. But there are so many little communities dotting the landscape here, as well as Panama City itself, which is a larger city, and all of that under the gun for perhaps a 12 to 13 foot storm surge, as well as 145 mile an hour winds. Just a tremendous storm. Nah, they did. They upped it to 150 mile an hour now. So we are looking at a storm that is uh, very, very close to, to being, well, it already is going to be a record breaker. No storm this large has ever hit north of Punta Gorda on the Florida Panhandle. So this is just a tremendous storm that's going to do massive damage up here. There will be places without power for months, I should suspect. Uh, by this uh, later this afternoon into tonight, it'll be moving onshore and into Georgia. Georgia as a category, possibly category two hurricane, and then exiting off the Atlantic coastline as a uh, category one storm, perhaps. So just a tremendous, massive area being covered by this storm. All of this area you see in bright yellows here are torrential rains. The good news in that regard is that it's a fast mover, so maybe torrential rains will be in the in the area of maybe 10 inch rainfalls in some locations, but not the 20 inch rainfalls that we've seen with some storms. Still, this is going to be wind damage and water driven and uh, wind driven water storm surge damage in North Florida. If, if you look at the eye of the storm, it is so well defined. You can even make out little vortices around the eye wall spinning around it and a large area of strong convection indicating <laughs> just continually strengthening the storm. All of this area in red here that I've outlined is a, a tornado watch box. It does not include our area, but we have had water spouts locally. We have stories on that on our website, and uh, we still have some spinning going on in the atmosphere that indicates more tornadoes certainly possible up to the north of us. Levy County's already had two. We'll have more on this storm and its local impacts coming up in just a few, Scott. All right, John, thank you. This is a live look now at Panama City Beach, where Governor Rick Scott is warning residents in the path of this hurricane to seek shelter. Besides the dangerous storm surge, the storm will bring torrential rain, major flooding with four to eight inches of rain expected, even 12 inches possible in some areas. The governor activating up to 3,500 members of the Florida National Guard and says thousands of utility workers are now on standby. The National Hurricane Center calling Hurricane Michael an extremely dangerous Category 4 storm. And for those who are in the path of it, Florida officials say it's time to hunker down. Omar Jimenez is in Panama City. This is the worst storm that the Florida Panhandle has seen in more than 100 years. The National Hurricane Center is calling Hurricane Michael an incredibly dangerous storm. And officials say the time to evacuate has passed. You've made your decision. It's time to hunker down uh, and ride out this storm. With maximum sustained winds already over 145 miles per hour and a forecasted storm surge as high as 14 feet in some places, Michael's impact will be devastating. So half the fatalities in these tropical systems occur with a storm surge. The storm is expected to make landfall near Panama City this afternoon, dumping up to a foot of rain before it blows over Georgia and the Carolinas, still recovering from last month's Hurricane Florence. I know people are fatigued from Florence. But don't let this storm catch you with your guard down. And despite warnings from officials, some people are staying to ride out the storm. Never been through a hurricane before, heard lots about it, watched them on television. We'd stay and see it out. My daughters want me to go and I'm like, no, stay, it'll be fine. 
Omar Jimenez reporting there. Well, this afternoon we have crews out across the Sun Coast to see how this monstrous storm is impacting our area. Let's first check in with ABC 7 Jess Dowdrick, who's live today on Anna Maria Island, where there's been flooding and gusty winds. Jess, what are the conditions like right now? Well, Scott, the story this morning was flooding. The story now, it's wind. We're seeing wind gusts at about 35 miles an hour here on Anna Maria Island. The wind is making the waves crash to the shore. Let's take a look at some of those beach conditions that we've been seeing here on Anna Maria Island. This is what Manatee Public Beach looked like a few hours ago as Hurricane Michael barrels north and prepares to make landfall. Sand was pelting the sides of beachgoers' legs with gusty winds strong enough to blow the umbrella down the beach. Now, earlier this morning, following high tide, some of the roads here on the island were underwater, including Marina Drive near the intersection of Golf Drive. As the sun rose, the water receded, and now a majority of roadways are in the clear. However, there is another high tide at 1.30 this afternoon, so it's likely that floodwaters will return, so be prepared. Now, these wind gusts are expected to continue throughout the afternoon. Anna Maria Island Elementary School has been closed today because of these effects that we're feeling from Hurricane Michael. I'll have another report. We'll check in again here on Anna Maria Island coming up at 1230. But for now, live on Anna Maria Island, Jess Daldrick, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Jess, thank you. Beach erosion and flooding also a big concern on Lido Key. We checked out the conditions there this morning. As you can see, the storm has kicked up the surf. The wind was howling there. According to the city, overnight waves and tides washed away the front line of those big trap bags, which were oversized sandbags that the city placed there earlier this summer to protect the beach's dunes, the pavilion and the pool. The city plans to replace the sandbags soon to protect the shoreline for the rest of hurricane season and until the emergency renourishment project begins, which should be in about six to eight weeks. But city officials they have, say they have done their job so far. Just down from that beach on South Lido, Ted Sperling Nature Park is flooded. The Shell Road and parking lot look like a river there today where the storm surge has pushed the water on shore. The park is closed until further notice due to that flooding. Storm also having an impact in South Sarasota County. Let's check in now on the conditions at Venice Beach. ABC 7's Rebecca Fernandez has been there all morning and shows us what's happening there right now. Rebecca? Scott, well, things are starting to pick up a little bit. We're seeing strong winds, very big waves out there. But that's not the biggest concern here on Venice Beach. It's actually what's inside the water. Lifeguards have put up red flags and no swimming signs all along the beach. They say they found a very high concentration of a bacteria called Entrancoccus in the water. This means there's an unsafe amount of human or animal fecal bacteria. And the, this beach will remain closed for swimming throughout the entire day. And lifeguards tell me they'll continue to monitor it to see if they'll have to close the beach in general. As always, we'll keep you updated if anything were to change. For now, live in Venice, Rebecca Fernandez, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much. Now, Florida Power and Light is on standby, waiting to support residents who lose electricity during Hurricane Michael. ABC 7's Ray Collins is just back from the Sarasota County Fairgrounds, where crews are packed and ready to go. Ray? Yes, yeah, Scott, a small army is on standby, waiting to make that six-hour drive to the Panhandle. 1,300 FPL workers and contractors are arriving at the fairgrounds on Fruitville Road. Once the call comes in, they'll hit the road and drive where help is needed. This is their emergency response plan that all power companies have and use on a regular basis. It works both ways, of course. You might recall crews from outside the area came here last year for us, and local crews recently went north after Hurricane Florence. Our responsibility is to provide safe and reliable service to our customers. Once we have restored the power to all of the customers that Florida Power Light supports, we offer and lend assistance to our neighboring utilities as they have done so for us in the past, such as Hurricane Irma. And just recently, where we went up part of a mutual assistance program to help our neighbors to the north in the Carolinas. Well, some crews are here from as far away as Mississippi. They actually drove south to Sarasota, then wait, and then drive back north to the Panhandle. Scott? And we're likely going to have a lot of work to do up there, too. All right, thank you, Ray. Some flights in and out of Tampa International Airport have been canceled because of the storm. Silver Airways has canceled flights to Tallahassee today. Other flights to de destinations near the hurricane's path may also have to be canceled or delayed today. 
So far, though, no flights have been canceled out of Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. But again, check with your airline if you're flying out somewhere today. Amtrak is adjusting service to Florida because of the hurricane. Today, Silver Star trains that usually go from Miami to New York are now stopping in Jacksonville. No alternate transportation will be provided between Jacksonville and New York. Starting tomorrow, the Palmetto, which typically runs between New York and Savannah, Georgia, will only run from New York and Washington. As of right now, as Jess mentioned, only one school in the Sun Coast is closed due to the hurricane. Anna Maria Elementary closed. There will be no bus transportation for island students who attend other schools on the mainland. That's because of all the uh, storm surge flooding on the island. All other schools in Manatee and Sarasota counties are open today. But in Sarasota County, all after school events, activities, competitions, practices are canceled for today, except for elementary school after care. Now, as the storm makes landfall, we'll continue to give you live updates on our Facebook page and website, mysuncoast.com. We'll let you know if there are any road closures or any other issues related to the storm here on the Sun Coast and across the state. Still to come in your Sun Coast news, police are investigating a deadly shooting at a Fort Myers shopping center. And we'll take a look at weather and road conditions across the state. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We get it. You're busy. But what about those moments when life slows down? It only takes a minute to get election ready. Check your voter registration status. Make sure your signature is up to date. Review your sample ballot. Know your election dates and voting options. So take a moment. Be election ready. I'm Secretary of State Ken Detzner. Get ready, get set, vote. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe and call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. Thank you. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Sparky. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go out there to rain. Gonna get wet. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yes. So much fun. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. You know, we have some very windy conditions out there since the, the hurricane has become larger. Wind estimates have just upped a little bit along the coastline. We're now going with a 20 to 30 mile per hour wind right along the immediate coastline with some gusts as high as 40, and we've come pretty close to that already. We'll start to see those wind speeds begin to decrease as we head into the evening. Uh, south wind now at 26 miles per hour at the airport. We have an 85 mile 
uh, an 85 degree temperature with a um, heat index closing in on that 100 degree mark. So plenty of moisture in the atmosphere. 70% chance of showers through the afternoon. Water spots are possible out on Gulf waters and uh, some of the storms are going to produce some torrential downpours of rain. Take a look at some of these data buoy estimates already. We're getting some reports of hurricane force winds near the coastline as the storm approaches and closer to home. We've got some pretty strong wind speeds as well. Just offshore 34 miles an hour, 27 miles per hour, even some that are exceeding tropical storm force earlier on. The center of the storm getting very, very close to making landfall right now. Probably at Mexico Beach, it looks like, is uh, where it's headed, just to the just to the uh, south and to the east of Panama City. The uh, strongest of the wind flow coming up right along Cape Sandblast and moving into inland areas, producing just torrential downpours of rain as well as uh, you know blinding winds. The center of the storm has a very clearly defined eye wall with large, massive convective tour. It's all around it. You can see the little vortices in the eye wall is spinning and perhaps even contracting just a little bit as it gets closer to land. It might have finished getting stronger at this point as we see that eye wall beginning to contract. It might be trying to develop a secondary eye wall, which would mean that uh, it probably won't gain much in intensity. But even if it did gain another two or three or five miles per hour and became seven miles per hour and became a category five, makes no difference. The, the damage that this storm will do is just going to be massive. We've got some storm reports already coming in from Apalachicola. We've had wind gusts of 76 miles per hour, a storm surge of over four feet. That was earlier today. Now it's exceeding five feet in many places and gusts of 75 miles per hour at uh, St. George Island, just around St. Mark's. Locally, some of the storm uh, bands, feeder bands, are producing rain showers across our area. These are very fast movers. I mean, if you trace out over the last hour how far that particular cell moves, you can see we're talking about a, a 30 mile per hour storm and uh, that's pretty representative of all these cells. So very quick movers and with wind speed starting to shift, we have a highly sheared environment. So uh, again, water spouts are certainly possible on any of these storms as they lift northward. Uh, right now, the heaviest of the rain contained within these cells is moving up just past Mayaka up toward Duet, and then we have some out in Gulf waters as well. But as fast as they start, they move on. So total rainfall amounts are not going to be all that much with these systems. As far as the threat for tornadoes go, identified by Storm Prediction Center, it's really north of us now. It has shifted further to the north, so we're even out of that marginal box. That is not to say that it couldn't happen, but it's just that the highest risk is in the Big Bend region. If you look at the forecast wind speeds, we are also out of that tropical storm force wind zone, so I don't expect to see that in our area. But look at the area covered by tropical storm force winds. This deep violet color is where tropical storm force winds are likely and you're, you're talking about a 500 square mile area of tropical storm force winds. So it's just tremendous power with this system. Uh, if you have relatives in Tallahassee, maybe your kid goes to school there. It does look like the threat of uh, a hurricane force winds is reducing here in Tallahassee. It's now at about 20 to 30 percent, but certainly a large area of the Florida Panhandle and even Georgia will see some hurricane force winds as we progress through the afternoon. Our wind speed still up there coming in at 25 to 30 miles per hour along the coastline and shifting as we head into the afternoon to a more westerly direction, but also those wind speeds will start to reduce. So I think the next tide coming in will probably be the uh, the highest of the tides that we see today. 20 to 25 out on open waters, gusting to 35, might even be a little bit higher than that. Obviously, stay in port. We're talking 10 to 12 foot wave action out there. So any water sports not advised today. 70% chance of wind showers, windy today. Wind shift, draw in some drier air tomorrow. Rain chances start to diminish and look, as that drier air moves in and the winds start to subside, nighttime temperatures dip into the 60s as we head into the weekend. Warm afternoons, cool, crisp evenings right straight into the beginning of next work week. Scott? Something to look forward to there. All right, thank you, John. There are flooding problems and some street closures in the Tampa Bay area today. Take a look at video out of uh, Tarpon Springs showing some flooded roads there. Several docks and roads in Clearwater are underwater as well. However, Pinellas County conditions began improving this morning. Water began receding, but storm surge and beach erosion is still a concern at the next high tide.
So it's time now for lunch. Let's get over to the kitchen and check in with ABC 7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. Find out what she's cooking today. Hi, Judy. Hi, Scott. Well, I thought brunch for dinner. There's never a better time for me to eat breakfast food than at night. You know, I'm kind of like eat the cheesesteak or cheese stick, not cheesesteak in the morning, maybe half an apple. But the time I get around supper time, I really do crave a lot of breakfast items. So today we're going to make a butternut squash and sunchoke hash, also known as Jerusalem artichokes. I love the crunchiness of those. We're going to bring it together with some sautéed onions, a few potatoes to balance it out, and some diced peppers. And over here I bought on sale, I love when I can get a sirloin steak on sale. So I have a beautiful steak I'm pan searing. I'm going to pop that in the oven for about 10 minutes at the last part, make sure it comes out a perfect medium rare and then we'll put some fried eggs on top. So stay with me, I'm coming back with some delicious brunch for dinner. Honda, I like it. Your last chance for 2018 Honda Accords on sale is now during our model year in sale. Drive new Accords for just $249 a month. Get an Accord, the North American car of the year for less than the competition with more standard features than Camry, Honda Sensing, multi-angle camera, turbocharged engine, and more. New Accords, just $249 a month. Your last chance for Accords all on sale this week at your local Honda dealer. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Blue 32, Blue 32, ha ha! It's the Ghetto Gridiron Challenge. The game's on to sell 2,000 vehicles. 12 teams compete for the number one spot. Score a great deal at every Ghetto dealership. Buy with zero down. Make no payments for 90 days. Choose from 14 of your favorite brands all on sale. Who will make it to the end zone? You decide. Rush to a Ghetto location near you or visit Ghetto.com. Ghetto's got it. I feel happiest when I'm out enjoying my favorite things, like spending time in my garden. That's why I need a Humana Medicare Advantage plan. Many Humana Medicare Advantage plans cover everything from emergency care and hospital stays to doctor office visits and prescription drug coverage. In fact, last year, Humana Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan members saved an estimated $6,900 on average on their prescription costs. Humana has a large network of doctors and hospitals, plans that include vision and dental coverage, and most plans include Silver Sneakers Fitness and a rewards program, all for a $0 monthly plan premium in most areas. Now I can be happy and healthy and keep enjoying all of my favorite things. Your health and happiness is important to us. Call or go online now to get your free decision guide and see how a Humana Medicare Advantage plan can help keep you enjoying your favorite things. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Keep up with the Suncoast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device. Two people are dead, two more are hurt after a shooting at a shopping center near Fort Myers. Lee County Sheriff's deputies say last night's shooting at the Bell Tower shops does not appear to be random. A woman at the scene says she was celebrating her birthday around 10 o'clock last night when someone approached her family, then shot and killed her husband. The woman's son then tried to run off before the gunman then shot him. No arrests have been made yet. Well, it's not even close to your average 911 call, but some firefighters in Sacramento, California, needed to help round up two thrashing hoofed animals trapped in a fenced-in canal. The doe and buck somehow got trapped there. Fortunately, two of the firefighters who responded, who are also sisters, have a very useful skill they wrangled up years ago. They also had a lasso in their truck. My dad is a retired fire chief as well as a retired cattle rancher. 
And so we've always had lassos around the house. And when we were young, we would just lasso each other, lasso stuff out in the backyard. And so just like that, the two were lassoed and one by one pulled out of that creek to safety. All right, let's get back to the kitchen and check in again with Judy Gallagher, who's got a great lunch for us today. Scott, I think you and John are working a little overtime and deserve it on this stormy day. So the steak is seared both sides. Again, I was really psyched to get it $9.99 a pound. That's a really good price. And one of those steaks is easily going to be enough for four people plus. And not everybody wants steak on top, so that's fine the way it is. Now I start in the pan. I hope you don't mind that I didn't wait for you. But I have some onions that I just gently browned and then I added the sunchokes. Now the sunchokes come, they look really gnarly, almost like fresh ginger does. So you can see right there. But you use the entire thing. So I just wash them off and then I just slice them. So that's what we're doing right here. The key is you really want to layer the, that seasoning. So salt and pepper. And then I always put in a pinch of paprika and maybe a pinch of hot chili flake just to give it a little punch when it's coming up. Now that the steak's in the oven, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this saute for about 10 more minutes. Then what we're going to do is, oops, oh, I almost forgot the mushrooms. Mushrooms are a great way if you're not going to be adding the steak, um, just to add that meatiness texture to a dish. So again, nice big chunks, real flavorful. If you need to, you can always just put a cover on this for about five minutes and let it brown. But we'll let that just kind of saute a bit. And I can see just a teeny bit more olive oil. Okay, so at this point, as it's all coming together, steak's getting ready, we have our eggs that we'll be adding to the pan once we move this out. You can go ahead and add spinach or baby kale or both. I mean, I add both. My son loves this dish. He'll eat it all day long. Just take some out of a bowl and eat it. And the best part is we're going to mix in some Parmesan cheese in a little while. So that is just going to bring this dish to a whole nother level. Whoop, get back in that pan there. Okay, so let's take a quick peek, see where our steak is at, and then we'll be ready to finish the hash. Now, just a reminder, when you're doing this, you just want to feel in and, oh yeah, I can tell that's done. It's just like your this crease right here, okay? If it's nice and soft, that's the perfect rare to medium rare. It's going to continue to cook for a moment. So when you come back, let's drop the eggs in and get brunch for dinner going on. Runs as art. You know the name. You know the building. But do you know what's inside? Yes, Rugs as Art is Florida's number one area rug superstore. But there is so much more. Amazing furniture, accessories, and art. All this and more. Come see for yourself. You'll love our personal touch and be pleasantly surprised by our affordable prices. Rugs as Art and more. There is so much more to explore. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. When ABC7 declares a first alert weather day, it means we can expect major changes to weather conditions here along the Sun Coast. It means it could be severe, potentially dangerous weather ahead. We tell you when a first alert weather day is coming because we want you to be prepared. 
A first alert weather day is an advance warning. We'll let you know about any changes in the weather when the first signs appear. ABC 7 first alert weather. We're here for you. You now have the power to prioritize your Facebook feed and get local news and information from the team you trust. Go to the ABC 7 Sarasota page on Facebook. Give us a like, then click following and choose See First. That's it. Customize even more by choosing notifications. Choose breaking news, posts, live videos, anything you want to see in real time. Take control of your news feed and stay connected to what's happening in your community with ABC7 on Facebook. My name is Luke Perry and I am one million strong. I'm in the fight against colorectal cancer because I believe we can win it. Colon and rectal cancers are the second leading cause of cancer deaths among men and women in the U.S. Colon cancer is preventable. Know the risk factors and make sure to get screened. There are simple take-home options available. Take control of your health. Screening for colon cancer isn't embarrassing. It can be life-saving. To find out more about your options, visit fightcrc.org. Find out first at 4 with ABC7 News at 4. Weekdays on ABC7. This is the worst storm that the Florida Panhandle has seen in more than 100 years. Coming up, a strong Category 4 hurricane inches closer to the Florida Panhandle. And Hurricane Michael also impacting the Sun Coast. We'll check on the conditions across the area. You're watching ABC 7 News at 1230. Well, welcome back. Hurricane Michael just hours away now from making landfall in the Panhandle is a powerful Category 4 storm, nearly a Category 5. Meteorologist John Scalzing joins us now with an update. John, we were just looking at some figures of uh, the pressures of this storm. Yeah. This is among the strongest storms, not just to hit the Panhandle, but the, the entire United States and our recorded history ever. of these storms. And the strongest to ever hit anywhere north on the Gulf Coast in the state of Florida from, uh, from Punta Gorda North. So it's just tremendous. And how it became that in a day and a half yeah. is just tremendous. Shows Sound. you just the, 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 the power that was contained within the Gulf waters, you know. Only a couple of degrees warmer than average. And you think, well, what's a couple of degrees? But the heat content is so deep. And those couple of degrees really translate into sure tremendous have. amounts of energy. There's the center of the storm. I would say we're making landfall in an about an hour and a half here with that. You're coming in very close to Mexico Beach, just to the south of Panama City. Tremendous storm surge, just an amazing stadium shape to the eye wall. I mean, this is just classic structure. It doesn't have hardly any time at all to, to gain any more in intensity, and it doesn't need to. 150 mile an hour winds as it makes it on shore. Right now we're looking at uh, uh, north northeast motion at about 14. Thank goodness it's forward motion is a little bit faster than it had been. And so consequently total rainfall amounts may not be that great. Plus, Maybe the storm surge won't be quite as much as it would have been had it meandered a little bit longer out there in the open waters, but certainly it's going to be a devastating storm for the panhandle of Florida and really all the way up into parts of South Georgia as it moves inland and becomes a uh, tropical storm and then exits the Atlantic coastline. You can see a clearly defined eye wall, little spinning vortices. Uh, you can see the big, powerful thunderstorms wrapping all around the center and the feeder bands as well, producing numerous rotations and reports of tornadoes already today to the north of us. Our feeder bands are bringing us scattered showers from time to time, and that'll be the case. Checking out some of the wave heights around this system, 30 foot waves, and we've got uh, even some of those waves propagating into our neck of the woods with 10, 12 foot waves just offshore. That is going to give us a higher tide again this afternoon, only today's high tide, this afternoon's high tide, not quite as high as the last tide was. And Consequently, I think maybe the flooding won't be quite as great, though it certainly could produce more nuisance flooding. 139 at Anna Maria Island, that is your high tide, and in Siesta, or, uh, or Sarasota Bay, rather, it is 228. More on the storm in just a few. Back to you, Scott. All right, John, thank you. There's no better view of this hurricane than from space. And while the storm moved north through the Gulf of Mexico yesterday, cameras aboard the International Space Station captured views of the hurricane. The life-threatening storm surge and more powerful storms catching some by surprise, leaving anxious officials telling those who did not evacuate, it is time now to hunker down. Unfortunately, this is a hurricane of the worst kind. Um, rapidly intensifying storm, which gives people very little time to prepare. Uh, it, always, it, it also gives them a shorter window to evacuate. 
And as Hurricane Michael continues to bear down on the Florida Panhandle, it's now an extremely dangerous Category 4 storm expected to make landfall sometime this afternoon. Already states of emergency have been declared in Florida, Alabama and Georgia, with thousands asked to evacuate. ABC's Maggie Ruley is in Panama City Beach. Officials are warning everyone in Michael's path. This could be the worst storm they've ever seen. Hurricane Michael is forecast to be the most destructive storm to hit the Florida Panhandle in a century. Overnight, Michael becoming a powerful Category 4 that just keeps growing stronger. You can hear, if you stop for a moment, the roaring Gulf of Mexico behind me. It is so eerie knowing that that Category 4 storm is now about 100 miles to our south. Seen from space, this hurricane is intimidating, stretching some 400 miles with winds topping 140 miles per hour and a storm surge expected to be as high as 13 feet. Anybody that doesn't evacuate that experiences storm surge doesn't typically live to tell about that story. FEMA rushing to mobilize against the fast moving storm. This one popped up on the radar screen basically Saturday morning. An extra thousand utility workers brought in from out of state are on standby as more than 375,000 Florida residents were told to evacuate. Remember, we can rebuild your house, but we cannot rebuild your life. Take this seriously. Keep your family safe. Those who stayed behind now have no other choice but to stay in place and ride out the storm. I just feel like you're safer if you just stay put and batten down the hatches. As neighbors are left to lean on each other for survival. We're all in this together, we're one giant family. This storm is being compared to a buzzsaw. It is hitting hard and it's hitting fast. And it's the storm surge and this wind that has authorities the most worried. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, Panama City Beach, Florida. And again, Governor Rick Scott says the time to evacuate has come and gone. He's urging everyone in the hurricane's path to find a place to shelter. 54 shelters are open in the Panhandle and Big Bend area. More will be opened if needed. The governor says once it is safe, crews are ready to help those affected by the storm. As soon as Michael passes, we will have a massive wave of response and support coming down and around the panhandle. Scott says 1,000 search and rescue personnel will deploy immediately. 3,500 National Guard members are activated and staged. 135 FWC officers are on standby. Both troopers and transportation officials will be monitoring the roads and bridges. Now, as the hurricane gets closer to making landfall, the storm's outer bands having some effects here on the Sun Coast. Let's check in again with ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick. She joins us live at Cortez Beach on Anna Maria Island. And Jess, how are things looking right now? Well, Scott, it's quite a different look here on Cortez Beach compared to what it looked like a few hours ago. You can see that the waves are still crashing on shore, but just a few hours ago, there was a line of foam that was on this beach. Let's take a look at some of that video from a little earlier today. Meteorologist John Scalzi says it's likely that that sea foam was caused by winds from Hurricane Michael and the breakdown of red tide. Together, along with the waves, it's creating a foam that was washing ashore. Speaking of wind, Cortez Beach also has had an influx of surfers today that are taking advantage of the waves from the wind that this storm is creating. One surfer says he can feel a slight rip current from the waves pulling him north along the beach. There's no rip to take you all the way inside, no? so you can it just it just toward north. So if you want to get out, just just grab some waves and, and you'll be here on the phone. It is almost high tide here. That will be at 1.30 this afternoon, and we can certainly feel that here. The water has come up to my feet several times, and I'm right standing right near the dunes, so that could cause more flooding on the roadways here on Anna Maria Island, so we will continue to monitor that throughout the day. Reporting live on Anna Maria Island, Jess Dowdrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Jess, thank you so much. Let's check in again with ABC7's Rebecca Fernandez. She's joining us live today from Venice Beach. And Rebecca, how are the conditions out there now? Hey, Scott, well, the winds continue to pick up here on the beach and residents tell me all throughout the island they're seeing these strong winds and the no swim flags are also still up here on the beach and will remain that way throughout the rest of the day. The lifeguards say the levels of a fecal bacteria are extremely high and that it's unsafe for anyone to get in the water. It's happening all throughout Sarasota County, but here on Venice Beach specifically, the levels are seven times the normal number. They say it's because of all the storm drainage runoffs the city has and also because of the intercoastal waterway. 
They'll be monitoring the conditions throughout the day and they will be testing the water again later this afternoon. If anything changes, we'll of course keep you updated. For now, live in Venice Beach, Rebecca Fernandez, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much. Obviously not the best day to get out there in the water anyway. Well, check out some video of a water spout that was sent in by one of our viewers, Lisa Mena, who says she took the video around 8 o'clock this morning from Sarasota Bay. You can see it forming over Sarasota Bay at the north end of Lido Key. It didn't last long, quickly forming over the choppy waters and then disappearing. We also had uh, another uh, water spout right off of Lido Beach. Uh, you can find that video on our website. Now check out the photos taken overnight in Sarasota. The docks at the Hyatt Regency on Boulevard of the Art, Arts uh, underwater there. An ABC7 viewer, Art Conforti, sent us the photo around 1 o'clock this morning. And then check out these photos from the North Jetty in Venice. Another ABC7 viewer, Don Klein, took these photos yesterday of a few people and their dogs standing there on the rocks of the jetty while waves were crashing. Well, you can see those waves got right in and over them. No one was hurt, but again, it's not a good idea to stand on the jetty during these kinds of conditions with high surf and high winds. If we'd like to see your photos of the conditions on the Sun Coast, if you have them, you can send them to us at pics at mysuncoast.com. That's P-I-X at mysuncoast.com. And as the storm makes landfall, we will continue to give you updates on our Facebook page and website. We'll let you know if there are any road closures or any other issues related to the storm. We'll keep you up to date on our website and on our social media pages, Facebook and on Twitter. Let's get back to the kitchen now and check in again with Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. Hey, Scott. So our sunchoke and butternut squash hash looks amazing. We've browned up those sunchokes, a little bit of onion, some mushrooms gives it the meatiness that you will want, especially if you're not going to top it with another protein. But I am. It's steak day here at ABC. So some freshly grated Parmesan, and we'll just let that melt. During commercial break, I added a little red pepper, give it some nice flavor. Now let's crack a couple brown eggs and get that going. And you can even, you can do poached, you can do soft boiled, it's totally up to you. I find just adding a fried egg, and it's totally forgivable if you actually break the yolk when you're having hash. So I have some delicious cranberry walnut bread, and you're gonna want something really wonderful that's a little bit crusty to hold up to all the different textures here. So we're gonna put that right in the plate there. And I have my steak. So let's take that sirloin and just whoop, line that up. Okay, so we'll make a layer of that. And then we'll take a peek on our eggs here. Now, one of the things I like to use a lot are different salts, Himalayan sea salt, some black salt, and then I have the smoked salt, Ladun salt, and that just gives us this amazing flavor. So let's just take an egg and give it a little flip. Like I said, we don't have to be as careful because we have so much going on in this plate, but the key is all about the flavor, right? We just want to make sure that we have this magical flavor going on. Okay, this egg looks to be just right so. There we go. All I have to do is touch up the plate and you will have a perfect brunch item. But wait, there's more. That's right, I have fresh organic tomatoes, red, orange, and yellow. And I'm gonna just put those in the corners because I don't want them to really get too hot in the hash, but they're just gonna be a really nice pre presentation on the dish. And it's something about tomatoes and eggs for me that always go together. So little olive oil to finish, a little more of that salt, and we're done. We'll be back for a taste in just a moment. Ready to open up new opportunities as an electrician? Don't do it yourself. Team up with Mr. Sparky instead. We're locally owned and looking for people like you. We offer our electricians great perks that you just won't get going it alone. And whether you're an apprentice, a master electrician, or somewhere in between, we have a spot for you. Best decision I ever made. Apply online or call today. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? 
With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through TrueStage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. TrueStage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. Helping families with mesothelioma is all we do. My firm has been offering a free book on mesothelioma for over 10 years. Since that time, hundreds of people with mesothelioma have trusted us to represent them. We have local offices throughout the U.S. and there is no risk to you. Mesothelioma really is all we do. Call us at 1-800-485-6000. That's 1-800-485-6000. Or go to mesoonlylaw.com. You got a king? Go fish! In your face, in your face, in your it only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, Panama City and areas around there getting hit really hard right now. 82 degrees the air temperature. We have a south wind at 21. Panama City has a east wind at about 150. We're looking at uh, 70 mile, a 70% 70 chance of showers for us this afternoon into the evening. Fast moving showers just uh, coming in on the bands, the outside bands of what is uh, uh, extremely powerful. Uh, hurricane now making landfall or getting close to making landfall right now near Panama City near Mexico Beach. Some of the outer bands, the uh, the eye wall, the strongest winds are right along this eye wall. I mean, technically it doesn't make landfall until the center has crossed over land. But uh, right now the strongest of the winds are moving on shore here and uh, it's, it's just got to be a a terrible experience for anyone who decided not to evacuate that area because those winds are tremendous. Locally, we have some areas that are producing some fairly heavy showers. One shear marker located down here near Osprey might produce a water spout. Can't rule that out, that little area right there. It does have a shear marker associated with it, so there's some rotation in that storm. To the north of us, a bigger cluster of showers and thunderstorms now moving through 75 between Ellington and uh, and uh, Foxley. So we'll watch those storms continue to move northward and uh, at a very rapid pace at about 30 miles per hour. There's uh, Michael moving on shore, a frontal boundary back to the west approaching, helping to kick it out to the north and east at a pretty good clip. Now this front will actually make it through our area by Friday and switch our winds around to the northwest. That'll draw down some drier air and really give us a pretty comfortable feeling to our evenings as we head into Friday night and Saturday night. We'll see our temperatures dip into the well, probably upper 60s close to the coast and maybe even some mid to lower 60s in well inland areas. So that'll be kind of a nice refreshing little change for us and get rid of the moisture that's around right now. Higher tides today, today's afternoon tide, not quite as high as this morning's tide, but wind speeds are also up a little bit. So we'll get a lot more slosh over, I would think, along the uh, roadways close to the coastline. Showers and thunderstorms around and very windy near the coast. Not quite tropical storm force, but pretty close to it at uh, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds through the afternoon. Into the evening, they'll start to die down, but we could get some gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. Oh, and by the way, we have three storms active, named storms in the Atlantic. That has not happened for over 50 years, so just 
tremendous what's going on in our environment right now. So we have a few places that have still reported red tide. It'll be interesting to see what happens to that as we head into the um, next couple of days and the spotter reports come out. East wind or south wind rather turning to the southwest during the nighttime at about 20 knots. Gusts even higher than that. Terrible conditions out there in the water. Obviously nobody wants to be out there. And even those folks who are thinking about doing a little windsurfing out there, Think long and hard about it. Rough conditions, uh, 9 to 11 foot seas and rip currents are going to be a huge problem in our area waters, as well as heavy surf, of course, as well. Heavy surf advisories mean that unskilled swimmers can certainly be knocked down and get into trouble by some of the wave action that's out there. Very angry waves. 70% uh, chance of showers today under windy conditions tomorrow, about a 50% chance. We'll call it breezy tomorrow. And then as we head into the weekend, that drier air filters in. We'll have a lot more sunshine and cool, crisp weather. Back to you. All right, John, thank you. Walgreens cutting some employee benefits just months after announcing it would boost hourly wages for store employees. Starting next year, employees of the drugstore chain will not qualify for paid time off unless they work at least 30 hours a week. Right now, employees can get paid time off if they work 20 hours a week. The cuts follow a Walgreens announcement in March that it would increase pay for hourly workers by $100 million overall a year. Still to come in your Suncoast News, we'll check in one more time with Chef Judy in the kitchen and then a final look at your first alert forecast as Hurricane Michael is about to make landfall. Blue 32, Blue 32, ha <laughs> ha! It's the Ghetto Gridiron Challenge. The game's on to sell 2,000 vehicles. 12 teams compete for the number one spot. Score a great deal at every Ghetto dealership. Buy with zero down. Make no payments for 90 days. Choose from 14 of your favorite brands all on sale. Who will make it to the end zone? You decide. Rush to a Ghetto location near you or visit Ghetto.com. Ghetto's got it. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. My name is Haley. I have fragile X syndrome. I work with Tartwells at Einstein's at FAU. I like being up front and um, interacting with students. The students are very nice and very hungry. Having a job is a big ticket for independence. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to disabilitieswork.employflorida.com. This is what high blood pressure looks like. Talk with your doctor to create a treatment plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. And here we have it, a nice stormy day meal brunch for dinner. I have a Jerusalem artichoke, also known as sunchokes. It's a hash with a little bit of potato in there. You don't even have to add the potato. Some onions, some red pepper, some kale and spinach, some good smoked salt going on. Grilled up a sirloin, sliced it, 
and then put a fried egg on top, Parmesan cheese, and make sure you have some rustic crusty bread so you can rub in the yolks. If you want this recipe, just go on to mysuncoast.com, click on dining, and you'll be able to get the recipe, the video, and so much more. Please be safe out there, and I'm gonna send it over to you guys. All right, Judy, thank you so much. Let's uh, wrap up talking about Hurricane Michael, among uh, the most powerful hurricanes to ever hit the United States. Period, yeah, uh, the, one of the top four. Uh, you and I both enjoy reading the tweets from uh, Philip Klosbach, the uh, head researcher that took over William Gray's position at the University of Colorado. And here are some statistics for this now land, almost land falling uh, major hurricane. Uh, Camille was the only storm this far north that had stronger winds than Michael. Uh, it is a category four, the first category four to ever hit the panhandle of the state of Florida. It is only seven miles per hour walking speed away from a category five hurricane. And right now we're watching it make landfall up on the Florida panhandle. Forecast to have perhaps a 13 foot storm surge in that area, just filled with little tributaries and rivers and streams and lots and lots of pine trees up there as well. Uh, this is just going to lead to massive power outages. Um, many, many structures will be destroyed. There will be areas that are just removed from the face of the earth. Many, uh, many buildings. Yeah. It's going to be a terrible situation. That's awful. Yeah. Um, our conditions, we've got a high tide coming up in a little bit in we some do. areas. We and do. You and said it's not going to be quite as bad as the overnight one. Well, if, if we didn't have any wind speeds at all, yeah. the tidal height would be lower than it would normally okay. be. And our tides have been running around two feet. The tide gauge that I just saw from Anna Maria is showing about uh, one and a half foot above normal. Okay. So right. uh, it looks a little bit better, but uh, the winds are up a little bit too. So we'll be dealing with that and yep. uh, there could be some nuisance flooding. John and Bob will be keeping you up to date throughout the afternoon. And uh, also check out our social media and webpage. Have a good day, everyone. See you again at 4. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at nationalguard.com. Cancer doesn't run in my family. That really was the farthest thing from my mind. I've been an athlete my whole life and I work in sports, so my mindset was this, let's fight. So our stories are all unique. So whatever you're going through, ask questions, get information and be involved. Don't ignore the signs, join the fight. I'm Tony Beasley, and I'm a stage two colorectal cancer survivor. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights.